Hello friends, welcome to VFocus Classes free video lectures for SSC CGL Reasoning. So in the reasoning section, in the last two sessions, we have discussed calendars part 1 and as well as calendars part 2. You can click here to watch the videos. This is part 1 and this is part 2. Now we will be completing the calendars. And the last part we are going to do is when only date is given, how do you find the day? So to do these type of problems, we need to know some calculations. I will show you the calculations. When some number of years are given to us, we need to be able to write how many leap years are there in that particular years and how many non-leap years are there in that particular years. Now we are discussing the traditional method and by the end of the video, you will be discussing the shortcut too. Don't miss the last part of the video till the last minute of the video. If 25 years are given to us, we can able to say that there are 6 leap years and 19 non-leap years. How do you calculate this? 25 you divide with 4, so that's 4, 6 are 24. These are leap years. Out of 25, 6 years are leap years. The remaining 19 will be non-leap years. So this is non-leap years, I say. So in the same way, I wrote for 52. So you can divide with 4. Like you'll be getting 13 leap years and remaining all are non-leap years. And if 61 is given, 15 leap years and 46 non-leap years. If 75 years are given, 18 leap years and 57 non-leap years. If 100 years are given, 24 leap years and 96 non-leap years. So 24 plus 96 would be 100. You might confuse that 100 if you divide with 4 you will be getting 25 but I wrote only 24 because 100th year itself is not a leap year. So that is the reason we got 24 leap years and rest all are non-leap years. Now we move to the next concept. So if any calculation is given to us, let us say that you are given a date of 15, 8, 19, 47 and you will be asked to find what is this day. So our intention is we need to able to find the odd days till here from the beginning date that is 01001. We know that this day is Monday. The, in the beginning of the calendars one I told that this is Monday. And from 1112-158-1947 we need to calculate the number of days and odd days. Then our job will be done. So basically that is the calculation we need to do. But here I am explaining the way how to do the problems. So I am giving you some prior calculations. What are the prior calculations you can see here. In the first 100 years means from 1 to 100 years till 100 years. If you calculate the number of odd days. We have already discussed that 24 leap years or 76 non leap years. In every leap year you will be getting 2 odd days. So 24 into 2 you will be getting 48 odd days. In every non leap year you will be getting 1 odd day. So you'll be getting 76 odd days. So if you add, you'll be getting 5 odd days. So in the first 100 years, if you calculate, you'll be getting 5 odd days. In the first 200 years, from 1 to 200, if you calculate, how many odd days you'll be getting? 100 plus 100, you can write. So in 100, 5 odd days. In 100, 5 odd days. So you'll be getting 10 odd days. So entire thing will come to 3 odd days. If you take 300 years, so it is 200 plus 100. So you'll be getting 1 odd day. If you take 400 years, it is 300 plus 100. But uh, 300 means you got one odd day. In 100 years, we are taking 6. Why we are taking 6? This 100th year, that is 400th year. In general, in 100 years, you will be getting 5 odd days. But 400th year is a leap year. So you will be getting one odd day extra. So you will be getting 7 odd days and 0 odd days. So first 100 years, you got 5 odd days. Second 100 years, you got 3 odd days. Third, next 100 years, you got one odd day. Next 100 years, if you take 400 years, you will be getting 0 odd days. So in the same way, if you calculate the number of odd days till 500 years, you will be getting 400 plus 100 that is 5. If it is 600, means from 1 to 600 years, you will be getting 400 plus 200 that is 3 odd days. If it is from 1 year to 700 years, you will be getting 0 plus 1 that is 1 odd day. If you calculate from 1 year to 100, 800 years, you will be getting 400 plus 400, so you will be getting 0 odd days. So if you can see, if you can clearly observe, the cycle will repeat 5310. 5310, 5310 and 5310. But for our calculations, you remember these two things that is more than enough. So in 1900 years, you'll be at having one odd day. In 2000 years, you'll be having zero odd days. Means from 1 to 1900 years, if you calculate the odd days, you'll be getting one. From 1 to 2000 years, if you calculate the odd days, you'll be getting zero. Means till 200 years, every day is balanced, we say. So this is the calculation that we need to know. After knowing the calculations, I will be giving code to the number of day like every day of the week. So if there is a one, if you if you are getting one odd day, then your day will be Monday. If you are getting two odd days, you will be getting Tuesday. If you are getting three odd days, it will be Wednesday. 
if it is 4 you'll be getting thursday 5 friday 6 saturday 7 you can say as 0 so it is sunday don't implement these codes to the previous sessions this is exclusively for when date is given and you're asked to find the day okay so now we have seen that what the calculation we are following is 5310 means in the end of the year 1300 years you got five odd days so at the end of century year you got five odd days at the end of century year you got three odd days at the end of 1500 years that is century year you got one odd day at the end of 1600 years you got zero odd day with this you can clearly say that the last day of the century always ends with five that is friday or wednesday or monday or sunday either of any of these days friday wednesday monday or sunday because 5310 is the continuous things we are getting then what would be the last day of the like uh, with this we can see that the last day can never end with tuesday only these four are available so tuesday thursday saturday you never get so century ended with the uh, one zero one three or five so the next day would be one so starting day of the century would be either monday or it can be tuesday or it can be thursday or it can be saturday you may get this question in the exam last day of the century last day of the century can never end with first day of the century is always what so if you remember 5310 then your job is done now we'll be discussing the traditional method i'll be taking very famous example that is 15th august 1947 you all know that this is independence day but if i ask you what is that particular day of the week many of the people won't answer so how to do this problem see the date given is 15 8 1947 by looking at the date we can clearly say that 1947 is not completed yet so what is the completed year the completed year is 1946 now our intention is to find out this day means from 1 1 0 0 1 2 15 8 1947 we need to calculate the number of odd days means you need to calculate the number of days too but in the calculation we have seen from one year to 1900 years how many odd days are there only one odd day you can revise the video if you have any doubt so how many years are completed 1946 years are completed so 1900 years we have calculated rest years are 46 years divide 46 with 11 sorry 4 you will be getting 11 leap years and 35 non leap years so 11 leap years means 22 odd days and 35 non leap years means 35 odd days so entire odd days you will be getting is 1 so in 1946 years you got one odd day plus one odd day so you got two odd days till 1946 we have calculated now we need to move to the 1947 year till august 15 so in january you'll be getting three odd days in feb you'll be getting zero odd days march three odd days april two odd days may three odd days june two odd days july three odd days and august we need to tell take till this 15th whatever the day is asked so you'll be getting one odd day you calculate all these odd days you'll be getting three odd days so total odd days we will be getting is 1 plus 1 plus 3 that is 5. So what is the code for 5? That is Friday. So your answer is Friday. You will be taking previous year to the given year. Okay. Then you will be calculating the century odd days. And you will be calculating the remain. You will be taking the remaining years. And you will be calculating the number of odd days in the remaining years. And you will be taking next whatever the year we are considering that the given year in that year whatever the date is given till that date we'll be calculating the odd days we add up all those three things so here in the first two you got and here three you got two plus three you got five so you got the answer as friday this is how you'll be doing the problem this is a regular way i can do this problem in 45 seconds there is no issue for me because i'm i have done this problem this kind of problems a lot of times so it requires a practice and you'll be getting the answer for sure without any error but you need a shortcut so basically i copied this from an academy you know that an academy so this method they said that it's a doom day, doomsday method there are n number of formulas available but i consider this is the perfect way to tell perfect way to do because this is a very simple thing so in the doomsday method they give one formula that is one anchor day they gave and they, did, they said that you divide y, whatever the given year, with 12. And when you divide, you'll be getting some reminder. You take that reminder also. And you also divide this reminder with 4. So this entire thing you divide with 4. This is what they have said. This is a very simple thing. So anchor day, y by 12 means divide with 12. And take the reminder. And also take, and also divide the reminder with 4. 
that's it and what is this anchor day we need to find out and what is this doomsday we need to know so anchor day if the year is given between 1900 to 1999 that is wednesday if the year is given between 2000 to 2019 that is tuesday so these two things we need to remember if it is between 1900 to 1999 it is wednesday if it is between 2000 to 2099 it is tuesday then what is doomsday they say that so irrespective of the date given in every year the last day of the feb and 44 means fourth day of april sixth day of june eighth day of august 10th day of october 12th day of december will be same so with this method you can find this any of these days you can find last day of feb or fourth fourth or six six or eight eight or ten ten or twelve twelve so that your job will be done half of the job will be done look at the same example that is 15th august 1947 we will be following the doomsday technique here so in the doomsday technique if the given year is between 1900 to 1999 you take the anchor day that is wednesday so now you need to calculate doomsday so nearer doomsday to this 15th august is 8 8 so i'll be calculating 8 8 first so how do you calculate you take the anchor day that is wednesday and whatever the given year divide that given year with 12 so 47 you divide with 12 12 threes are 36 you will be getting so your quotient you got is 3 so remember this is the quotient you need to take and also you need to take the reminder so what is the reminder you will be getting that is 47 minus 36 11 and also divide this reminder with 4 so reminder i am dividing with 4 so what is that i am getting 2 so i'll be taking 2 here add all these things so to wednesday i need to add 3 plus 11 3 plus 11 is 14 14 will give us 0 odd days so ultimately i'll be getting 2 odd days wednesday plus 2 i'll be getting the answer as friday so if 8 8 is friday my calculation is if 8 8 1947 is friday then what is 15th august 1947 is the question so from year to year it is a week week means it is again a 0 odd days means if this is when friday i got so for friday i need to add zero so you'll be getting an answer as friday this is how you'll be solving the problem practice this for more time so that will be uh, it will be very very easy to you i'll be taking one more example what day of the week was on 15th march 2016 so the given year is between 2000 to 2016 sorry 2019 so anchor day would be tuesday now i need to calculate the doomsday and what is the doomsday nearer to this 15th month that is last day of feb last day of feb okay so your anchor day is tuesday and divide the given year 16 with 12 so you'll be getting 12 ones are 12 and what is the reminder you'll be getting that is 4 and now you divide this 4 with 4 again so what is that you'll be getting 4 ones are 4 so you'll be getting 1 so you add tuesday plus 6 so that you'll be getting the answer as monday okay that's fine so what is this monday this is the last day of the feb now we need to calculate 15th march so from 29 feb 2016 to we need to calculate 15th march 2016 we know this day that is monday so from here to here how many days are there you know that this is, is to be cancelled and year to year you have 15 days 15 days means only one odd day you add one odd day to this monday so that you'll be getting the answer as tuesday this is how you'll be solving the problem it's a very easy thing you, if you understand this method if you don't understand you go by the traditional method you'll be getting the answer to do these problems well so i gave you a question so find 15th august 2016 and what day it falls and also do the problems with your like your birthdays and marriage days if any extra days is available so i thank you very much for watching the video and if you are the first time viewer, I request you to subscribe my channel so that you will be getting the continuous updates.